all right guys and welcome back to a new video today i have right here with me the mercedes glc uh, img 63s this is the older model it's not the brand new it's from 2018 uh 17 and uh i want i just want to show you because i find it super nice and super interesting and also it has a great price uh, and the technology it's um, also new we have LED light in the front also in the back super nice front bumper with a lot of air intakes and great aerodynamic um, also on the side here uh, very interesting design with black those black rims look fantastic and also the black around the windows look gorgeous uh, you can also see it here uh, they look super super nice We have a great great engine. We will talk in a moment about the technical detail, but first time check out this uh, aerodynamic uh, of the car also around the windows there we have black glossy and also the shape of the car look gorgeous for a coupe Here are the information about the car. So uh, Mercedes GLC 63s IMG coupe uh, 500 10 horsepower uh, it is a super powerful car for an SUV it has a lot of uh, power and also the price 111,000 francs dollars uh, around 1,000 uh, 10,000 one one 110,000 euro uh, yeah very expensive but very powerful car I just see it here and I, I just have to present it for you. I just have to make a video to show you uh, how cool this car it is. Also in the front grill look gorgeous. We have a lot of air intake for cooling the engine there. Uh, here we have a front camera with the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake behind this logo. Uh, the front camera is right down there. Also here we have the another air intakes. Uh, for cooling the engine at the high speeds and also cooling the brake here on the side uh, I like the shape. I like all these lines um, Around the car here. They look fantastic also um, the rims the brake Caliper the ventilated discs you can see the discs there uh, Because this car at high speed he need to brake. It's a heavy car. He need great brakes also IMG um caliper 21 ring inch rims uh on this car look gorgeous they look super nice beautiful anyway beautiful car full led lamp in the front here you can see uh also led intelligent light system so uh those light in the night are gorgeous uh they help you to not blind the other traffic participant and uh, it has also automatic high beam so they are the best uh, best 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 also six parking sensors in the front uh, and all around these edges of the car we have this plastic here to protect the car to not scratch it and um, this plastic here protect the car in time uh, you can you can take it out very easy if you scratch it or something. We have the V8 engine B turbo four wheel drive, so it is a super powerful car. Also down here we have the step, and also in the back the same plastic to protect the car. Uh, very interesting. Uh, the lines the car have two lines that's typical for Mercedes on the side. The mirrors not so much different from the C class. Uh, that you can see on the C-Class or the E-Class. Down here we have the camera and an LED light. So we have 360 degrees camera around the car. Uh, a lot of great technology. Also blind spot in the mirror. Uh, the mirror is very nice. Um, and around the edges of the car we have this black glossy plastic um, that make the car look super sportier. Also on the A-Class, also on the new A-Class. We have the same black uh, glossy plastic there. The handles, I like them very much. This chrome design, half half keyless entrance technology. Uh, a lot of, I think this car is kind of full option. 
It has all the new technology from Mercedes. Maybe not the full LED lamps uh, that you find it on the new uh, GLC. Uh, GLC. But um, yeah, anyway, a lot of great technology. Uh, here in the back, the same plastic to protect the edges of the car. Uh, this plastic go all the way through the back where there are the uh, exhaust pipes. And we will go in the moment in the back and you will see uh, the back of the car look also super nice uh, and super interesting. The exhaust pipes here, also the parking sensors in the back. I like the way the shape of the exhaust pipe. We have two fake exhaust pipe and behind that it is one uh, there. Some air diffuser down there, uh, kind of because we have also the hook down there. And also here in the back, you can see the IMG line, GLC 63S, uh, and uh, the interesting back, the chrome design around the windows, uh, around the, the lights up here, um, look also super nice. I like much more the new one, uh, but this, this those look out, uh, also good. Also, the spoiler here for better dragging help the car to, to downforce, to stay good on the road at high speeds, uh, to have a better uh, control and handling at high speeds, and also in the same time make the car look much more sportier, uh, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, it's looking very, very good. Also, uh, going in the trunk, guys, automatic lift gate as expected. Um, here we have a huge space in the trunk. Also LED lights, the button for the hook, so you just have to pull it and then the hook will come out. You will see it right now in a moment. Yes, here is the hook. Uh, it's coming out, so very nice. You don't even need to touch it. Uh, it makes this uh, all automatic and you pull it again. You wait a few seconds, I think around 10 seconds, and then this hook will go back again. You need a little bit of time uh, until it gets up, but uh, 10 seconds is all you need. The space in the trunk is actually huge. We have entrance here uh, with a little bit of aluminum, maybe 10 centimeters there, or maybe for 7, I think, 7, around 7 centimeters uh, deep. Also protection for the trunk, uh, a lot of space here in the trunk. Uh, it it's feels like it's, it's really big space you can put a lot of stuff here also on the side we have the repair medical kit uh, also a small space in the left side in the right side here we have the buttons for the seats you will see it in a moment i will show you right now those are buttons for the seat 12 volt port uh, also a hook there that is for air suspension for example you can pull the car a little bit down or up when you carry, when you want to hold stuff, two LED lights on the side, and another one up here. You have illuminated very good the trunk. I like this aluminum here, and I like the fact that you can lock this floor, car floor, and under here we have um, a lot of space where you can put your stuff. You can see there, it's kind of huge space uh, under the floor, so you can also lock this this is pretty good um, now let's show you this how easy you can fold down the seat you just have to press this button and the seats are folding down very easily um, and you can see here you have a flat floor there you can even slip in this car without any problem or carry bigger items no problem at all you take out that uh, trunk protection and you have a huge huge space there um, in in the trunk, kind of amazing. Also, uh, I like the space. You have a sportier, safety SUV car with a lot of space inside and also a lot of good quality. Big entrance in the car as well, uh, no problem at all. Let's fold back the seats now, guys, uh, for a moment. Um, here in the middle you can also fold down the middle part and you have plenty of space here for carrying uh, skis or uh, long items wherever you want to carry 
uh, this is very practical. Also, I like the, uh, the armrest here and leather. You have plenty of space for your phone or things to put here. Also, cup holders. They are very well designed and wear very well. Uh, uh, they think about this very, very uh, well. Also, the window, it's, it's nice, but I don't like this black pillar there kind of in the middle. I like the, the quality of the doors. It's it's amazing the quality. It's fantastic. Also the speakers, the chrome uh, design insertion, the leather, the stitches. It's it's fabulous. Uh, also the buttons uh, and the way they work on every detail here. The buttons are the new one, the, the great quality buttons. Uh, and I like them very, very much. Uh, one of the best best quality also this car was take out on the market i think in 2017 first time but this img line it's it's kind of new car also you can see here the plastic that protect the edges of the car it's very practical uh, but if, if you want to see the new glc you can also see it on my channel i i already made a video with the new one you can also see it there but it's not the img line also the white uh, white seat belt are super cool anyway let's go back to this car uh, the seats are great great quality uh, you can see they are soft for long trips they are uh, they are very practical uh, very very practical anyway um, we have an LED light on the front seats we have uh, rubber behind the seats here with the storage space the vents here in the back also, uh, they are nice and good quality. They also look nice here. You controller for climatic system. And down here, we have a space uh, where you can put your stuff. Kind of small space. I was expecting to have some USB port or 12 volt port there. But anyway, uh, we have a step also there in the middle going inside the car to see the space. Uh, as expected, huge space on my legs on my uh, on my knee uh, I have a lot of space also on my legs I can also stretch my legs under the front seat it's huge space there no complaining at all about the space in this car also on my head space four fingers uh, don't forget this is an SUV coupe so um, you have to expect not so huge space but the visibility it's okay uh, can be better, but it's okay for a coupe SUV. Also, the head space is good, the leg space good, handles, LED, good quality on the roof. Um, yeah, it's a Mercedes, what you can expect from a Mercedes. Also, uh, legs room, a lot of legs room, a lot of headroom here, four fingers. Uh, no problem at all in the middle for me. Maybe for tall people, but for me it's perfect. It's very comfortable as well. Uh, I didn't expect that this. Also for free people, there's no problem being here. Free people in the car, it's gorgeous. Um, great, great comfort. Uh, also up there we have a glass roof. Kind of a half of the roof, it's glass, not all. I like the car with full glass on the roof. They look so nice, so nice, I see. Uh, I see a few cars that they are amazing. Now going in the front also we have a big windows, good visibility, great quality on the doors. I don't even need to tell you guys uh, the quality on the doors. It's fabulous. Also those buttons, the way they look in Chrome, they are yeah, amazing. I like it. I love it. It's my favorite. My favorite buttons from Mercedes and also the doors design. Uh, it's my favorite. I like it very much. Really like it. Also, the way they integrate the leather, the buttons, all that things here, the electric uh, electric windows there. Down here we have the buttons from the trunk and also from the hook. This is pretty cool that you can open it from here, from the interior of the car. Uh, also going inside the car, we have IMG logo with LED here. Um, that look nice in the night. Also the lumbar adjustable part from this electric, full electric seats in the front. 
pedals, aluminum pedals, and seats in the front also. Uh, they are nice, they have side support, uh, IMG logo here, IMG. And um, side support, we have holes, I like this seat belt, white seat belt, look, look, phenomenal. Also, you can adjust the front part, they are soft, they are good for long trips, ventilated seat, heated seat, um, gorgeous, gorgeous. You, you have all you need in this car, um, it's full option, and that's why I want to show you this car. A few things that uh, I want to show you, the visibility, it is very good in the in the car here so uh, you can also see on the windows no problem with the visibility a little bit of blind spot there in the back on the corner but it's no problem this car have 360 degrees camera also in the back so you can park the car without any problem so the visibility it shouldn't be a problem the glass support here is very useful and practical also you have an SOS button up here pretty interesting the way they chose it LED lights on the roof um, it's not so big difference from the new model with the old model. Here is the button to, to adjust the glass roof. Also mirror with LED, good quality everywhere on the roof handle. And I will show you where is the difference between the, the old Geely C and the new Geely C. Here the dashboard is the different. On the dashboard we have a little bit of... Uh, change design but the quality on the dashboard leather head-up display uh, and everything here it's almost the same we have nice chrome insertion uh, and good quality on the on the dashboard even here the glove box it's, it's enough big and it is uh, quite quite good uh, now what i want to show you it's here the digital display the steering wheel is different uh, the, the new steering wheel it's much much better also the vents here are cool no complaining they are perfect you don't need more than this it's perfect vents also those button integrated here are fantastic for different function uh, lane assist uh, cameras around the car light um, electric brake down there this those are same those are the same also the stick for adaptive cruise control you have it down there uh, you can see it behind there. Uh, this is the stick for controlling. Uh, there is the stick for adjust the steering wheel. But the steering wheel, it's nice. It's nice quality as you touch it, leather, good. But the buttons are in black gray. If you can see the buttons there um, are in black gray. Normally they are in chrome. You know the new steering wheel, you can check out on my channel. They are much, much cooler and better. <laughs> you, you have even a little touch screen on the on the steering wheel and on this car you have the old one also the clappers for changing the gear and um, yeah that's the difference the steering wheel uh, and also the front cockpit you have the old uh, cockpit durometer speedometer and a little bit of display in the middle so the new one it's much much better uh, but if you like the old one this will be okay for you uh, and also the multimedia system is also the, the old one, uh, the new one look much better. But there we have not star stop button as well. This is another change from the new model. Uh, also here we have the vents and the center console. It's almost perfectly. We have the the great quality uh, how it's carbon fiber here and the vents and all that are integrated there in the carbon fiber. They are, they are super, super nice. Also, um, you can adjust it in every position you want. The buttons here are the same for different functions from climatic system. You have a CD player, navigation buttons. This is Those are the shortcut button for the um, multimedia system. And also you can open these two cup holders, 12 volt port, the space for your, for your phone down there. Very useful. Uh, and cool and yeah uh, very nice I like this carbon fiber here around around those buttons the way they integrate these controllers uh, the buttons you already know for exhaust pipe volume changing the, the different driving mode we have air suspension on this car 
uh, also the buttons there in this controller you can control the multimedia system uh, in the middle here we have this armrest um, and then down here we have two USB and uh, an SD card uh, there on the right a lot of space here in the middle pretty pretty much space here so also good quality on the side here uh, of the center console now um, the position of driving it's cool um, I like the car uh, very much but I like the new one a little bit much more so um, yeah anyway that was my review with the old GLC uh, previous model uh, I hope you enjoy it guys uh, it's a very powerful car very nice car don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my other videos uh, check out the new GLC 2019 uh, and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe check out my other videos uh, on my channel don't forget I go next week in Frankfurt I come with new cars so uh, see you soon guys Bye.